Well, hello and how are you? Hey, this is Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you live right here in St. Charles, the first state capital of Missouri. That's correct. This here is blog number 179. That's right, 179. No, 170. Sorry about that. Throwing an extra nine in there. Who am I? Anyway, hey, 170, that's quite a few, quite a bit. You know, yesterday, my son done something to, that proved to me that he's growing up. Not, not you know, all kids grow up, but he's growing up mentally and in the mind. And he's very uh, compassionate. Because uh, yesterday, I told you it was his birthday and that he was, uh, that he wanted me to go out for his birthday with my parents. That's not the gist of it. I didn't know this, but the whole gist of the matter was the whole gist of the matter was because he's he's he was in boot camp on Father's Day, you see, and um, a week ago my mom and dad called him up and they said what do you want for Christmas I mean for your birthday and uh, he said well seems how I could not be there on Father's Day to, to take dad to uh, out to eat like we normally do I want you guys to take him out to eat for his Father's Day gift from me and that'll be the best present I could get and so he did and they did and we did and if you go to the Facebook page hello and how are you then uh, you can see the videos there I was gonna go ahead and upload them on here but uh, uh, I'll well I'll upload it it'll come up right after this this blog I'll throw it on right after that it's real short but they took care of us out there we were at the Longhorn Steakhouse out there on uh, out in Cave Springs there on the uh, uh, service road um, what is that called uh, Veterans Memorial Parkway service road there in Cave Springs. Uh, it's in the old Venture Plaza, but Venture is no longer there. I have no idea what's there anymore. But it was Longhorn Steakhouse, and they done us up real well. I tell you what, my uh, waitress Samantha Sam, as she prefers to be called, was uh, went above and beyond. Uh, when we walked in the door, as a matter of fact, my mom explain to the uh, maitre d's uh, the situation and then uh, when we got back to the table I asked that um, they do the birthday song like they had done for a, another gentleman over at another table and they were more than willing to do that they brought his ice cream over and uh, and uh, we had set him up a, a plate at the empty seat on the uh, table. It was a four person table. My mom was with me and my dad was with me and uh, I was there and Cody's seat was across from me and well we had him a plate with s some steak on it and ear of corn and uh, some Texas uh, fried onion and uh, beer in front of it and, and his ice cream in front of that and then well the whole group came by over and they sung their happy birthday spiel um, for him and explained to the audience there how how he was in the service and he couldn't be here today to celebrate his birthday with us so uh, he wanted his parents to bring his dad out for his father's day gift and well that's what happened and that's that's what yesterday was all about it was more it was more than I had known prior to I mean I didn't 
I didn't realize that that's the that um, it had gotten that deep and well I'm not I'm sorry I didn't mean to rain on your parade this is a real it's a real show get some human emotions to it well okay then that might be that's fine now my eyes are burning but that's okay we'll be all right I can handle it oh and you know what show wouldn't be complete without a muscle spasm so there you go we had our muscle spasm we had a good cry we need some laughter don't we there was a song I was looking for but I couldn't find it I mean it was like I'm so happy to see you again bow 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 I'm so happy to see you again you've been gone for such a long long while I'm so happy to see you again used to be uh, one of the talk shows on the radio used to be one of their intros all the time frank opinion I think but I couldn't guarantee it if any of the rest of y'all know what it was go ahead and jump on my Facebook page hello and how are you and let me know cuz uh, there's this uh, there's a thing on the internet here called uh, I grew up in St. Charles and I remember and uh, well they're talking about Lost Valley uh, campgrounds for uh, where the scouts used to camp and well I've got memories from down there boy I tell you there are so many different things that well we only went down there probably six to ten times but every time was better than the last so you can't beat that you know we done skits and we done plays and we had competitions and we had uh there was a uh, mad myrtle or beulah uh, actually the deal was there was a nurse named uh beulah i believe or myrtle i don't know anyway she was running an emergency situation and she had to get down the mountain and when she did um she got her head they had tra change draped across the trees for night bandits and well she got her head caught in one of them chains and draped across the tree and well it uh took her head clean off and well now she rides around in the woods out there on her horse looking for her head so that was the uh scare thing for down there so whenever you went you had to go up to the uh graveyard up there and you had to try to touch her tombstone or whatever there was always a thing set up and uh, of course we didn't know when we was uh, cub scouts we'd got up there and, and we didn't know it was the boy scouts that set it all up well in my case at one time it was some girl scouts that set it all up for us and whoo la la that was a fun time I remember a couple of girl scouts in particular one named Jan and one named Jean they were twins and they li used to live over there off of campus drive years ago but I don't know what happened to them I sure would like to know what happened to them because they was gorgeous girls yes sir they was anyway I was a wee below they were Girl Scouts they were up in the Girl Scouts you know and and uh, we'd played a game where they'd all sit around in a circle and put put me in the middle and their feet were all poked out in the middle of that circle and and their feet were around my ankles and they were just shoving me back and forth from side to side and I was falling in laps and in faces and all kinds of places <laughs> as soon as they'd flop me down one side they'd push me back up and I'd flop in another lap I was having a blast I don't know about them but I was enjoying myself thoroughly anyway uh, also we had a co competition one time where we were uh, down there it was in the fall which same time same time that we had the Girl Scouts there but it was in the fall time and uh, we there's a bridge down there old wooden bridge and they had a rope swing off of it and the idea was our game that was playing was 
you swing out on the rope and you tried to come back on the rope without falling into the water because well hey uh, if you fall in the water then you ended up having to sit inside for the rest of the day and you weren't allowed to get out go outside or do anything and well pff, I had had a few couple of scary situations but I never did hit the water I'd swing out and back and forth a few times before they'd yet catch me but I always had somebody catch me Tom Miracle I think that's who it was it caught me uh, on a couple of, of occasions and drug me back up in before I hit that water I tell you what there was enough of us hit the water though that that uh, they they told us we had to quit playing on account of that but anyway there was a huge uh, lodge over there and had a trampoline inside and uh, you could jump up and down on the trampoline in the house now that's a big lodge big old fireplace uh, if you go on to that site there that um, I grew up in St. Charles and I remember you can go on down you'll see a picture of the lodge when it was a house and then you'll see a painting of the lodge in the glory days of the uh, uh, camping trips and the uh, stuff like that and there's some pictures of the fireplace and Johnny Green and, and there was a, oh yeah there was a cat ladder anyway what it was with these little uh, doll sticks and they were all tapped into the wall and they went up at uh, little angles and they'd go up one way and they made a zigzag all the way up to this little house way up at the top so I mean if you're like jumping up and down on a trampoline in a house then that catwalk was long and it went all the way up there and the cats would climb up and down from that thing and you'd never even know there was cats there unless you actually seen them climbing occasionally you'd see one laying up there when you were jumping on the trampoline but you wouldn't know that they had been there unless unless you saw them moving around I gotta get me a drink yep lots of good times I remember this one time when I walked out walked into the Johnny on the spot thing it was an outhouse down there it wasn't Johnny on the spot it was a old wooden outhouse and there wrapped around the uh, rafter hanging down was this huge snake with horns and I couldn't figure it out I'd never seen a snake with horns before but I lit out of there because I was scared and I, I went over and was talking out telling the Boy Scouts about it and they were like a snake with horns you're kidding there ain't no such thing so what we ended up doing was they went over there and we found it and what had happened was there was this big old black snake and he'd been he was eating a frog and all that was left from the frog was his hind legs sticking out looked like a black snake looked like a snake with horns to me I wasn't getting close enough to figure out it was no frog I was done out the way now later on you know when I grew up a little bit I would have uh, grabbed that snake and tried to figure out what it was myself but at that point in time I was a little cub and I was there was well okay imagine this you're getting ready to sit down on the toilet and you look up and there's a snake hanging over your face with horns time to get out you know to just tip the door and walk the heck out say uh, adios I'll come back and do that later if there's any need to I might just have to go over to the tent and change my shorts if you know what I mean anyway you know um, I've had fun talking about it but uh, I really enjoyed the fact that my, I really enjoyed that uh, Longhorn Steakhouse them people over there will take care of you and so if you all are looking for a good place to eat Stop on into the Longhorn Steakhouse out there in Cave Springs. Yes, sir. They've got some good eats. Not only do they have some good eats, but the hospitality's fine. So come on out there and say hi to Sam for me, all right? 
Alrighty. Well, I'm going to let you go now because, well, it's about that time of day and my time's ran out. So I'm going to say, this is Shenandoah Presco saying hello and how are you? You know, God loves you and so do I. So keep in touch. You, you uh, come back tomorrow. I'll be here. I hope you are too. Alrighty. Well, alrighty then.